Hi everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here for WeatherWeb.net. It's the fast forecast looking through towards the weekend. And don't forget that WeatherWeb Premium viewers have full access to all our daily fast forecast and look at videos, plus musings, weather school content, and our long range outlooks as well. So go to WeatherWeb Premium and find out more about that. Now a tricky picture out there overnight into Thursday. The belt of rain that's been slow moving across the country during Wednesday gradually moving its way eastwards. On its back edge as colder air gets in, the blue colours here showing the risk of snow, particularly over the Pennines, over the hills of Wales, but getting down to increasingly low levels into the Midlands. So a mixture of rain, sleet and snow across those central and eastern counties to start Thursday morning. Some accumulations even down to fairly low levels, uh, more widely up over the hills and the risk of some ice around as well. Now way beneath that cloud, rain and sleet and snow, temperatures holding up around at 1 or 2 Celsius, but where skies clear behind it, uh, temperatures dropping away well below freezing. A few uh, spots may go down to minus 4, minus 5 across the valleys of northern England, perhaps even into north Wales and across the Scottish glens as well. So widespread frost and ice again, a risk here. The chart for Thursday daytime shows that front just gradually clearing away towards the east, but it could just leave rather grey, damp conditions across the far eastern side of England well into the daytime. Elsewhere, a good bit of sunshine coming through, a dry, bright day for many, a few showers just towards the far southwest, more frequent snow showers feeding into western Scotland, also into the western parts of Ireland, and one or two uh, wintry showers just across the western coast of England and Wales too. Temperatures are around a 7 Celsius towards the south, a 4 or 5 in the north, and with fairly light wind is not feeling too bad. Now we've got the clear skies that's staying with you overnight. Temperatures again dropping down to freezing or just below. Could be down to minus one, minus two in many rural areas to start Friday morning. We do have fronts moving in from the west and the rain you can see just out towards the west of Ireland will spread in as those fronts come in into the daytime. A lot of cloud cover coming in fairly soon as that warm front moves in. A few spits and spots of rain, more organised areas of rain moving into western Scotland, gradually turning up and turning more persistent across West Wales, North West England on into the afternoon, but largely across the bulk of central eastern England, the south as well staying dry for much of daylight. And temperatures a little bit mild, 8 or 9 in the south, around a 6 or a 7 towards the north. The wind though fresh uh, strong gusty southwesterly winds accompanying that front. Now the remnants of those fronts uh, clear their way through overnight into Saturday. A bit of rain coming through but not too much left on it. But as that front clears through it's then the secondary waves on that feature that develop out towards the west and that's uh, likely to pile in with rain across many western areas that go through into the weekend. There's a situation with the fronts on. Some uncertainty how far north or south it is but the risk of some prolonged falls of rain over the western side of Ireland, the western side of Britain too, particularly over the hills of Wales, may also be as far north as the Lake District, perhaps even into Dumfries and Galloway and maybe as far south as southwest England. So just keep an eye on the details. Some prolonged heavy rain may give some localised flooding. Risk of some patchy rain across the Midlands, but largely a little bit more broken up here. A fairly cloudy day, but milder than recent days, maybe well up towards 10 to 12 degrees across the south. But to the north of those fronts, still a chilly feel, only 5 or 6 year highs here. And across western Scotland, frequent pulses of snow showers moving in. So a variety of weather on the way over these next few days. You can keep up to date with all that with us at WeatherWeb Premium. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and bye for now.